How are you guys doing today? I am doing fantastic. Sorry for my voice. I am still sick, by the way. Um, sorry that I couldn't upload because, again, I was really sick. And you hearing my sick voice will be kind of annoying. And, you know, I had I had to upload, so I, I decided to be here today. Yeah, 105 eel bars. That is pretty sick. 45 more until Rainbow Sword. Next video, hopefully I'll be crafting it. I'll probably not upload from, for maybe a week, probably less, hopefully, so I can craft the rainbow sword for you guys. I'm getting really close. And one thing, I have the dark stone and the topaz stone. I'll show it. I'm going to show it on my other account. So, yeah, that's the crafting ingredients, as you, you didn't notice. There you go. One dark stone, one topaz. And that's pretty cool. But I really have sad news. Glitches have to come to an end, such as the butter butterfly glitch. It kind of sucks that stuff had to happen. I thought they actually intended that into the game, despite that butterfly boss's range is really, really short, while Qu Queen's range is high, which kind of confuses me a little bit. Because why were they didn't they didn't fix the butterfly, but they they sorry they didn't fix the queen, but they fixed the I I don't understand anything. So. It kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, and you can say goodbye to making dust with two coins, you know, which that literally existed, like, for like forever now. But, nope, they fixed that. I mean, honestly, it kind of sucks, but it's okay. You can always ma make f arrows, which is actually kind of easy. One wood and one copper, you craft it, you get five arrows. Keep crafting that. You will, will be able to get enough, and you'll actually get a lot of dust. If you guys probably, like, get, like, a stack of each. Like ninety nine wood and ninety nine copper, you can actually get a lot. You can get over five hundred wood, five hundred dust, which is actually huge. But yeah, sorry, but they have to come to an end. Here comes another episode of me complaining about stuff. Well, he, so the first thing I just I noticed for a while is they changed the chest position in Hell. It used to be between the both the Hell two and the uh, hometown uh, portals, but they changed it. Uh. Again, I have no idea why. Maybe it's because, you know, when you're trying to, you know, like, hit A on it, maybe go into a portal. But I that still doesn't make sense to me because maybe you're, again, that does not make any sense. So, yeah, another update coming to Pixel Rival 2 is that they're adding, like a, hol like, a Halloween equipment. If you equip it, you will get good items, uh, such as, like, you get the question mark, you know, the, four, the triple question mark, you know, the egg that every time... You like ro logged in randomly and you got it. I kind of like that better, but it's cow beans. Uh, I mean, I mean, it it was kind of annoying because getting all the collectibles is kind of annoying because might not you might not know what item you'll get. You might get the same one, which was kind of annoying. But I mean, it's kind of cool that they're adding, like putting new ideas and putting effort to this game, which I honestly really like it. So you, so you could say about the butterfly boss. I told you on. When the start of this epi uh, the start of this video, you could say that the Iron Fist is completely useless now. I mean, except if you're trying to flex, but other than that, don't even bother trying to get the Iron Fist anymore. It's completely useless now. I mean, maybe um in some scenarios, but honestly, I say it's completely useless. And one more thing that I hope they don't fix is the auto attack. Well, I mean, I don't think that is actually a bug or a glitch in the game, but. It'll be cool if they add a feature to that. Maybe like, I like auto button to the right. These are just suggestions that I found. So I'm gonna show in my perspective of what suggestions that I want. Now you don't have to really agree with me, but these are some things that I really want. The first thing is uh the when you're trying to craft something, they should add something to the right of the screen saying how how much you'll get from this. For example, the snowball and the crystal, like this little snow buddy that you'll get from the pink egg. Uh, it should tell you how much you'll get from that, cause if if you're someone like me who doesn't even know how much you're gonna get, like that must be really scammed by getting one. But in reality, you'll actually get sixty six. Which what I want them to do is I want them to put like a like a counter at the like this little counter at the right right of the crafting material and seeing like how much you'll get from it. Which again, that would be actually really helpful for new players. Another thing that I really want is having timers below the furnaces, like letting players know when their when their bar is going to be ready. That would be actually really helpful for someone having like you know like a lot of like late game like bars such as like hell or evil bars. It would be really really helpful to tell you how much time is left on those because 
sometimes it feels like you're just waiting like years until they're done but that's why i really want like a timer below furnaces because that would be really helpful and the last suggestion that i really want is like having a private server where you can only invite people such as it's kind of it gets a little annoying when i want people that i actually want to join the p players that i invite because when someone just joins me i feel kind of bad when i kick them out because again i want like the people that i wanted to join to join not other players and i have one more last suggestion is you guys probably like wanted this or have heard of it is seeing the health is boss on the top of like the health on top of the boss's health that would be actually really helpful to see what time or when they're they're gonna die because when you're like like fighting the longer enemies like butterfly boss or uh Bandanya boss it, it it takes like ages until they die like you just want this to die but you just never know when they're gonna die and that wraps up today's video guys i hope you enjoy it guys i'm really happy that you enjoyed today's video i'm getting really close to rainbow sword all right guys hope you guys have a fantastic day i'll see you guys in the next video bye